Brussels sprout and cauliflower, onion, fennel and cucumber, plum, pear and papaya, aubergine and sire, lime, lentils and quinoa, oatmeal bread and oatmeal flour, watercress and okra, tofu and sweet pepper. Exciting things are going on. Despite the situation, I feel quite a lot down in this lockdown and everything. Down in the lockdown, yes, I got you. Have ever, exciting things are happening. There is a couple of debates that I will have, maybe. There are a couple of Norwegian ladies that I invited to debate, and I invite people for debates a lot. However, most people don't accept debate propositions. People don't want to talk about ethics, so to speak. But here it's a little bit different, and I can tell you why. Maya Stae Ordones, or something like that, <laughs> uh, is somebody that works for the environmental organization called Sabima. Not that everything they have is wrong, it's just they base a lot of what they do on keeping the cultural landscape at bay in order to uh, have the amount of uh, diversity in the ecosystem to save climate, which most of you who watch me know is total pseudoscience. Have ever, I asked her to debate this topic and uh, on my proposition I added that the, all of this is just an excuse for uh, killing innocent animals. And she accepted the debate proposition. Have ever, the, um, the thing is she said that she might have to come back to me later this autumn which we're now reaching the end of quite soon, due to her time away from work has forced her to do a lot now. Which is understandable, but I will contact her um, after a while. So basically, they have this idea, some ridiculous ideas like, uh, what is the most ridiculous one? Yeah, because we made the mammoths go extinct, therefore we need animal agriculture. It's, it's bizarre, but that's, that's how they roll. However, the other debate is going to be even more interesting if it happens. When I debated Tord Exvelle, which was at the time the deputy of the Center Youth Party, which now is the leader of the Center Youth Party, yes, I've, I've debated a party leader. <laughs> that said, uh, the debate was about the ethical um, aspects of uh, veganism and animal agriculture with the proposition was something like um, what basically is the uh, most ethical of the two because my proposition was basically that veganism is a uh, logical extension of uh, universal human rights and you were supposed to defend the Norwegian agriculture somehow uh, with defending that it's ethical but he brought up a lot of other topics that had nothing to do with the debate, but he still kept on going. There and then, he failed totally on coming with a logical argument about ethics. Secondly, he failed totally when it comes to defending it environmentally. Um, he kept on coming with fallacies and so on. Uh, he made some health claims. I asked him to name the nutrient because it was like vitamins and proteins. It never mentioned any specific amino acids or vitamins. Uh, however, there was one topic that I could not go into because we were in the middle of nowhere. There were no 4G. Uh, I, I'm not sure if there was even any phone signal up there. Uh, it was on the top of a mountain somewhere far into the forest. <laughs> it was on the realm of like food security that he, he brought up. It's like, oh, we need this land to produce enough food for the Norwegian population. Uh, which I knew at the time wasn't uh, quite realistic, uh, the way he uh, put it forward. But I had no way to show to anything, and it wasn't clear in my head at that time. However, there is a lady now called Jenny Kringe. She is a center party representative on the Norwegian parliament. So yeah, she uh, decides 169th of uh, the decisions that are being put forward by our government. Which means that she's quite a powerful woman in this country, to be honest. She has somehow gone to war against the uh, Norwegian vegan society. One thing is to disagree. However, the topic that was at hand now is basically that the Norwegian vegan society has gotten a philosophical status similar to religious groups and the humanist uh, association. 
her possession was basically that they don't fill the criteria, um, and she goes on being really rude, uh, making up lies, misrepresent what people actually say, which I found to be not okay. And there is some kind of one-way communication. So I tried to see if can she defend a position against veganism or what veganism is really, uh, really all about. And I have said in the past that I will debate uh, all the parties in English. However, now that I have debated the uh, Centre Party, I will now accept debating Centre Party members in Norwegian, although I do prefer English. But then she invited me to a debate, but this was in the same realms of like food security or food availability or something like that to basically have food available for Norwegians if there was like a crisis going on. And because that was the one thing that I haven't really, uh, well, on the radio I did, but <laughs> in a way that you can look up. I accepted her debate pr proposal, uh, though she said that there's a lot to do on the parliament now, which I totally understand. It might be a diversion tactic, I, I don't know, it could be. Although, privately, we are on friendly terms. Although it gets pretty heated in the comment sections of uh, her pages and such. We haven't had any bad words between us in private. That said, what the Centre Party actually stands for is an in increased meat production and having even more smaller farms, uh, having more grass fed, like having animals out in the fields, like it used to be in the early 1900s. What they bring forward there is total nonsense. Not only does Norway not have the amount of land that is required uh, for <laughs> basically raising enough animals, unless we start tearing down forested regions, uh, draining uh, marshlands, converting it all into grasslands, or we need to start invading other countries. And it's not counting the fact that the carbon footprint of importing food is drastically lower than what is re really emitted from animal agriculture. Not mentioning that if there a crisis will come, it is due to animal agriculture, so you want to keep safety in the core fact that will create the disaster. Uh, this is really why I want to uh, tackle her on this, because I know this fact pretty well. However, I'm not sure if I I'm that good at just searching up the one study at the same time. So now I, I do quite a lot of preparations to see if I can uh, make it so that I have the studies easily available. Because uh, I know the topic quite well, but I'm not sure what she will bring up. It's a, it is a huge topic. There are many confining factors that could be into play. So I have quite a lot of proper preparation doing, but as soon as I have the preparations done and that, uh, I will come back to her and keep pushing her to have a debate. Although, uh, many people are asking for having the debate on Discord, which I'm pretty bad at using. She knows nothing about Discord when I talk to her. Uh, we're both really bad with technology in that sense. But we can make it through, to be honest. I think Miss Odenes uh, are willing to have the debate in uh, English, and with the proposition, there will be talk of ethics. So I think the the um, debate with King it would be the one that is that needs the most amount of preparation, to be honest. Although the debates seem to be very similar, there are actually quite many differences in the topics. One talks about the need of biodiversity to keep a um, environment going to save climate, and the other one is about having enough food for surviving into the day to tomorrow. But why it's really important to pin down this very hard is because these are the topics people bring up to vegans nowadays. And the reason is they can't defend their position with ethics. It, it just won't do. They've tried, they failed, so now they go on to other topics. I wanted the, the debate to be about ethics. I'm thinking of making quite a few videos uh, in the near future taking for a few topics that people bring up all the time, make sure that it's, that it's clear that they do not make sense, and that the debate should be about ethics. The reasons are simple. 
The thing they bring up are total and other nonsense. They have no place being in this modern society where we got science proving that it is in fact wrong. So once we got these objective topics out of the way, we can talk about ethics, which is actually subjective, but I want to see them defending it with logical consistency and also in a way that does not lead to an insane position. So I hope to debate both of them pretty soon, uh, if I manage. There's a lot, of, lot to read through and I might uh, seek help from people to just organize a little bit. Uh, my, my head is a mess, my computer screen is a mess, and the papers that I draw down on is a total mess, so... I just hope to get this done as soon as possible so I can get the debates uh, out of the way as soon as I can. But it is, in fact, very exciting.